Good evening, everybody. Wes Parker from Colorado. Um, I'm trying to have a short video on adding water to batteries. So, what I've got here is I've got my battery bank. One, two, three, four batteries. Each one of them is six, six volts, and then they're tied together to make a 24-volt battery bank. Uh, my son and I installed them about two years ago. Yeah, and their lifespan is six to eight years, depending as long as they don't freeze and you do the maintenance that you should. So right now I'm doing my, my monthly maintenance, which is adding water. I don't know if you can see this thing here. You don't have to zoom in too much. But basically, what, what the batteries are for? Uh, what they're all, all it to? is, is uh, this is just gives me a, r a rough date. And I try to do it every, every month or six weeks. And that goes back to about two years ago. And it just keeps me on. I have a little timer in my in my in my uh, telephone that tells me when to do it. You know, like a Google thing. So anyway, uh, you got to use distilled water. Nothing else will do but distilled water. Um, and I got this syringe. I think from a like a farm tractor place. Just a big plastic syringe, and a section of eighth inch hose. And I just reach in, draw out the water, and. Um, and these are the caps. Every fillable battery's got a cap on them. This has three three different cells, which is kind of interesting because that means that each cell is two volts because that's a six volt battery. And uh, I do this process. Uh, it usually takes about three or four squirts to fill it. And then we'll only do the one cell because, I mean, it's all repetitive. So what I want you to do, if you can, Lori, is, let's see, one more squirt, and then I think I'll be able to fill it on the next one. Um, every battery has their own set of instructions on how to fill, but on these is what they call a filler neck. And it extends about an inch or an inch and a quarter down inside there well when I flash with the light it's practically impossible to see but you can the water level is getting quite close there you can see it right there I've only got about another another eighth of an inch to go before the water hits the bottom of that plastic interior filler neck um, and once it does it, it makes a certain look visually it tells me that it's filled up properly actually it does have to go one more one more time and uh, I try to keep the batteries clean try not to spill any liquids around there we go that one's full and then once they're full I always cap them off because uh, if you don't know it batteries can be quite unpredictable um, you know there's a lot of chemistry going on there and I don't even pretend to know all that's going on or even even half of it but I have heard of Incidences of batteries, incidences of batteries exploding, or the the stuff inside getting way too acidic, and it'll it'll explode. And you know, I think the instructions in the book say that when you're doing this, you should be wearing you know like those big goggles you wear in chemistry class, just in case, because even when you're even when you're pulling this hose out of the tank, it can flick. That's quite acidic water. It can flick water in you. So. Anyway, uh, that's it. And the batteries are attached to what? And the batteries are attached to the big red, big red cable is what brings in the positive juice. And this is the ground, the neutral. And they both go on up into the inverter up there, which takes the 24 volts and jacks it up into 110 volts. Which, which is connects all, over into the big gray panel, which is our house. Household. Which is all part of our solar system. Yeah, part of the You home. haven't said that. Oh, I haven't so we live of off the grid, 100% solar power. Right. So anyway, that that's that's sort of a subject for you know, a longer one. But sure. anyway, filling batteries, um, that's all there is to it. Wes Parker, signing out. I am at your service.